Hillary Clinton back on the campaign trail tonight, trying to capitalize on her rising political fortunes. Did anybody see that debate last night? Well, you never saw anything like that before. A bitter and bruising debate with Donald Trump behind her. Clinton is all smiles, riding her new momentum to Michigan and Ohio. Donald Trump spent his time attacking when he should have been apologizing. Even as she fires up Democrats, Clinton is turning her attention to the chaos tearing apart the GOP. In a series of new television ads tonight, she's featuring Republicans standing against Trump, offering a path for other mothers and fathers to join. I've been a Republican all my life, but I'm the father of three girls. I can't stand hearing Donald Trump call women pigs, dogs, and bimbos. My son Max can't live in Trump world, so I'm crossing party lines and voting for Hillary. Clinton returned to the campaign trail facing a far brighter landscape. A new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll gives her an 11-point edge nationally over Trump in a four-way race. For the next 29 days, she's pressing her case as she did Sunday in St. Louis, starting with Trump's temperament. With prior Republican nominees for president, I disagreed with them on politics, policies, principles, but I never questioned their fitness to serve. Donald Trump is different. A CNN ORC poll of people who watched the debate found 57 percent say Clinton won. 34 percent say Trump did. But among women, a wide gap. Clinton with a 34-point advantage over Trump. Among men, an 11-point edge. What Donald says the poll of debate watchers skews slightly more Democratic. WikiLeaks released After WikiLeaks published hat campaign emails, Clinton also confronted with her old words from paid speeches she gave, bluntly saying politicians often have a public and private position on one issue. She mounted the Abe Lincoln defense. As, as I recall, that was uh, something I said about Abraham Lincoln uh, after having seen the wonderful Steven Spielberg movie called Lincoln. It was a master class watching President Lincoln get the Congress to approve the 13th Amendment. She lied. Now she's blaming the lie on the late, great Abraham Lincoln. That's one that I haven't. <laughs> 